Hey, today I just want to film a quick video about dealing with types in Python. Um, yeah, because when I first started writing Python, a lot of my errors came from dealing with types. So I came from the C++ world where everything has a type very clearly defined right there. So if that, this was a, um, a C++ integer, it would just be like that, right? And the compiler would enforce that, right? So if I said int cost here, and then I'm, I'm, ca I'm like putting in a string in it, it's not gonna work, right? But in Python, it'll just let you do it. It, it will not yell at you for anything you do because nothing really has a defined type yet. So let's run this and see what happens. So this is just a simple function to calculate the cost of an item. So basically we ask the user for the cost of the item and then later on we're gonna pass in an integer to be the tax that we're gonna add to the cost and then we're gonna return it. Okay, so we run it, return five for the cost of the item and we have a type error. Why do we have a type error? Well, funny story, input returns a string. <laughs> and that's actually tip number one, functions will usually standard library functions will tell you what they're going to return and that can be really helpful to to know like oh cost is going to be um a string and actually it has i uh, thank you thank you visual studio code it'll, it'll tell me what um the type of the variable is too but we can also do that for our functions we define so we can say hey this function is going to return an int and then we can also say hey this parameter is supposed to be an int or even like this variable is supposed to be an int and that can be kind of useful it definitely makes your code more readable but it doesn't actually do anything these this this might as well be a comment um as far as the the python interpreter cares you know because we can still run this and it's not going to yell at us for putting a string um where this int should be and we're still going to get a type error so how do we fix this bug well it's pretty simple actually we're just going to cast this to an int and casting in Python is really easy. You just say the type you want to cast it to and then wrap whatever you want to cast it to in parentheses. And this can be a function call. This can be a bunch of different things. You can just wrap it in that. You can even wrap it on another thing. We could wrap this in a float. We could make it a float. We could go int to float. You know, it's kind of ridiculous how much you can do, but that's really helpful. So we run this now, Retro our five, it'll be 10, it works fine. And the last thing I want to tell you about is the type function. So if you're ever really confused about what the type of a variable is, you can just enter that variable into the type function and then we can print it out. And if we run this function, enter in five, we can see, oh, it's an int. That's good, that's what we want. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.